this problem is number 27 from chapter 2 and in this problem you're adding a strong acid to a buffer system now this question came up in office hours and I wasn't able to go over it because we hadn't uh, cover finished covering these types of problems so I wanted to make this video um, to walk through this problem so we've had lots of examples in class where we added a strong base to a buffer but no examples where we added a strong acid to a buffer but the same concept concepts will apply you'll just have the opposite effect so let's walk through this together You're told that the buffer is made up of 0 0.010 moles of lactic acid. So this is the weak acid. The generic symbol is HA. And the conjugate base form, you have 0 0.050 moles. of sodium lactate. And the first part of the problem is pretty straightforward. You're just asked to calculate the pH. You're told that the pKa of lactic acid is 3.86. So we can go to the henderson hasselbalch equation and figure out the pKa, or sorry, the pH of our particular solution. Put in 3.86 for the pKa, and we put in 0.050 for the conjugate base, 0.010 for the acid, and your what I forgot to write up here is that these are both happening, sorry, these are both put in one liter. So when you do the math, you end up getting a pH of 4.56. So this is your pH for your buffer system before you've done anything to it. In the next part, you're going to add a little bit of strong acid and see what effect that has. So in part B, you're asked to calculate the change in pH when you add 5 milliliters, 5 mils, of an 0.5 molar solution of hydrochloric acid. And you're going to add this to that one liter from part A. So as we've done in class, when you add a strong base, you have to convert this volume that you add to an actual mole amount. There's a couple ways to do this. One way, um, pretty straightforward, is you take the five mils and you convert it to liters. So now you've got 0 0.005 liters, it's your 5 mils, and you multiply that by the concentration of your strong acid, 0.5 moles per liter. So this will tell you how many moles 
are in your five mils that you added. And when you do that math, you end up getting 0 0.0025 moles. I keep saying moles, but this is all less than one, so it's really mole. And if you remember from class, a strong acid will dissociate completely. So when you've added this amount to your buffer, that's the amount of protons that you've added. So 0 0.0025 mole of H plus is added. So what's the effect that this is going to, what effect is this going to have on the weak acid conjugate base system? Those protons that you added are going to convert some of this conjugate base to the acid form. So Remember, this is going to be a mole-to-mole -mole relationship. So 0 0.0025 moles of protons are going to react with an equal molar amount of the conjugate base. So you initially started off with 0 0.050 oh mole of the conjugate base, and some of that is going to get converted. The amount that gets converted is 0 0.025. And what you're left off with of conjugate base le left over is 0 0.0475. That's because some of this, A minus, linked up with the protons you added and made more of the acid form. So to now know your true amount of acid form, you take what you started off with, 0 0.010, and you add the amount that got made, 0 0.0025, and you end up with 0 0.0125 moles. We're all in one liter, so I'm just, <clears throat> I didn't write my units down, but you know that those are there. Now you can go to Henderson Hasselbach and plug in your new molar ratio to get your new pH. So what's your new pH? You put in the pKa 3.86 and you put in your new concentrations 0 0.0475 for the conjugate base, 0.0125 for the acid, and your pH is now 4.4 after that addition of the strong acid. And lastly, in part C, you're now asked to consider what happens when you add the same amount of hydrochloric acid, but now instead of adding it to a buffer, you add it to water. Really similar to the problem we did in class where you took uh, some strong base and added it to the same amount of water and compared it to a situation where you had added it to a buffer. So remember, HCl completely dissociates so when you added 0 0.002 mole in that liter of hydrochloric acid that's going to be your concentration of your protons as well
And so if you want to know the pH, you could then plug it into this formula. pH equals negative log of H. Negative log of 0 0.002 is 2.7. And that is your final answer.